One thing that has been heavily criticized about the Granola the Survivor arc is its pacing, but looking at this and some details from the Moro arc, we can start to see some hints about the end of Dragon Ball Super and the future of the franchise. How's it going everybody? Stav Vegeta saying what is good to all my Super Saiyan homies here to bring you all sorts of Dragon Ball content. If you enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. That being said, today we're going to talk about the Granola arc, the Moro arc, the end of Dragon Ball Super, and the future of Dragon Ball itself. We all know how Dragon Ball ends with Oob and Goku facing off in the 28th World Martial Arts Tournament and them flying off at the end for Goku to train Oob. But it seems as though the last couple of arcs have really changed the perspective completely for this fight. Not only was it revealed to us that Fat Boo maintained the Grand Supreme, Supreme Kai's form whilst Oob obtained his God Key, but at the end of the Moro arc when the Grand Supreme Kai helped him to transfer a portion of his key to Vegeta's Four Spirit Fission, we got a physical manifestation of just how much key he actually possesses. When the leaks first came out, many people thought Vegeta was actually using the spirit bomb, but this in fact was just a physical manifestation and quantification of how much power Oob actually has. But all this is only one side of the coin. With some of the more recent chapters, we've learned a lot more about the mythos and lore of Ultra Instinct. For a long time it's been debated whether or not Ultra Instinct was a transformation or a technique, but especially with the realization that angels are in a constant state of Ultra Instinct, it's been confirmed to be both. To this point, Goku's really only used it as a transformation, and Whis claims that this is a huge part of his stamina problem, but with mastery of being able to use it in his base form, this should all go away. Now, the thing to note that is, in the 28th World Martial Arts Tournament, Goku is fighting in base. Now, knowing the tremendous amount of key Oob possesses, and Goku now having the ability to use Ultra Instinct in his base, we can reasonably assume that this is what's going to happen at the World uh, Martial Arts Tournament, the 28th World Martial Arts Tournament. Uh, not only does this elevate the intensity of the fight itself, but it even further demonstrates Oob's latent potential. Assuming as a kid with a lack of training, he can keep up, keep up with Goku, who's mastered Ultra Instinct, and use it as consistently as the Angels, this put Oob's potential growth as a character pretty much sky high. What does this mean for the future? Well, the first thing to note is how far we are from the 28th World Martial Arts Tournament. Looking at the timeline, the events from hit assassinating Goku to present are all within the age of 780. The 28th World Martial Arts Tournament is in May of the year 784, meaning that we're roughly three and a half to four years out from the end of Z, and they've really been laying the groundwork for all these final chapters, or, well, relaying for that matter. Something to note is while this wasn't the, in the original release, when the Kanzenban reprints were released in the early 2000s, we see one of the final panels as Oob rides the Nimbus and the silhouette of Kid Goku is alongside him, seemingly hinting for the future of the new millennia's Dragon Ball. While at the end of the day this could be considered a stretch, even looking at the original ending with him and Oob simply flying off on their own, it's clear that this was be meant to be the end of Goku's journey as a hero, but to be the beginning of a new one as his role as a mentor. And just think of all the things that he could be teaching Oob with his mastery of God Key. With this in mind, and the pacing at which Goku is learning Ultra Instinct, there is a strong indication that Goku has basically reached the peak of his power, and I would suggest that this means that the super title would be ending sooner rather than later. Now, this could be anywhere between the end of the Granola arc or even 3-4 years down the line, but with all the callbacks to the end of Z, it would seem that we are closer to the end of Goku's journey than the beginning. I personally don't think this is a bad choice, seeing as how finding an opponent who's strong enough to challenge Goku these days is quite a feat. So much so, Granola doesn't really feel too... Too legitimate, he feels rather forced, for lack of a better term. Letting Oob learn from Goku and really learn about his god key and unlock his latent potential is a fantastic way to keep the crazy strong Dragon Ball enemies that we've come to know and love, and also really let the battles have a bit of weight to them again, allowing for Oob's development and character to really grow, rather than simply having one-sided blowouts from Goku all the time. Anyway, 